Hey guys, Angel Yo here. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, let me introduce myself first. I am Angel Yo. I'm a lifestyle blogger and I also make lifestyle videos. So if that content interests you, then please do click that subscribe button and the bell button beside it just so you can get notified whenever I upload videos like this. Basically guys, this video is the part 2 of the wedding Q&A vlog. If you haven't seen the first one, link will be on the description box. The reason why there is a part 2, it's because while I was editing the vlog, I found it quite too long for one vlog. So basically, I chopped them into two vlogs. Part 1, I answered mostly the pre-wedding questions and now the part 2 will be more of the wedding day and post-wedding questions. So having said that, Obviously, I am shooting this intro on a different day, but you gotta work with what you have. <laughs> Let's head on to the Q&A. I hope you learned something from this, especially for those bride-to-be's. And yeah, so let's go. Sean, are you going to share your SDE video? If you guys haven't seen it, it's up now on my YouTube channel and on my IGTV. If you haven't seen it, link will be in the description box and I will put the card up here. Next question is, what is your wedding song? I'm not sure if you're asking about the wedding song of my walking down the aisle or if you're asking about the song of my SDE or my prenup video. If the wedding song that you're referring to is my walking down the aisle song, <laughs> between a Christian song or a like a wedding song or a love song but at the end I chose a Christian song which is I am not alone by Carrie Joby um, it's a very very beautiful song that reflects the secureness that person has towards God that is the secureness that I had that I have with Brian that's why I chose that song and also that's his favorite song but he didn't know that I was gonna choose that song so it was that but if you're asking of what is my what is the song in my SDE video then please do go to my SDE video and on the description box nandun yung mga songs san ka nahirapan during the process of planning so happy for you babe congrats thank you Grizel I'm excited for you but to answer your question kung san ako nahirapan during the process of the planning it's actually really the logistics because me and Brian chose a private island so medyo mahirap yung logistics kasi we have to personally do it number one we have to deal with chartered flights and second is we have to ship everything through a barge so basically we have to fix all of those things and the scheduling of everyone who's coming from Zamboanga who's coming from Cebu flights are very limited since it's chartered flights so yun yung pinaka mahirap for me actually maraming mahirap but yun yung pinaka mahirap for me is logis logistics talaga and taking note of the suppliers and their flights their rooms and uh, their food so isa rin yun sa medyo sakit sa ulo next question is did you pay for the airfare of your guests so we paid for our family, for our entourage, and for all the suppliers, but for the guests, they pay for themselves. Next question is, who did your makeup, please? Um, choosing my makeup artist was one of the easiest thing for me. It's because number one, I don't like any heavy makeups. Number two, coming from number one, <laughs> I like very natural makeup. I ng full coverage foundation. I don't like thick powders. I don't like sparkly or very colorful eyeshadows. I'm not into that. So it was very easy for me to pick. I just want someone who will enhance my features and not change my features. So basically, it's a no-brainer that I would want Anthea Bueno. So fortunately, she was still free on my wedding day. So I got si Anthea Bueno. Question, what is the feeling when you are walking on the aisle? Feeling on walking on the aisle. Actually, I can't... 
I can't find the right word to actually describe how it feels to be walking down the aisle. I have so much thoughts. Um, I think na parang finally this is it. After how many months of planning, and after how many iyak dito iyak na. <laughs> finally, this is it. Second is that finally I'm marrying my best friend. Another thing that came into my mind is do not cry, do not ugly cry because my video, my photo, ganun, or my searing makeup mo na isip ko rin yon. So basically, I had so much emotions, like so much mixed emotions in general. So basically, I don't have the right answer to your question, but there's no right word to describe how I felt when I was walking down the aisle. But what I can really remember is that I just looked at Brian and smiled, and he smiled back. And I knew the connection and we were talking to each other saying, this is it. Finally, after everything, we are here. Saan ang honeymoon? <laughs> um, I'll share with you guys as soon as we're booked, but we're not yet booked, so I don't want to jinx it. So next question is, how's your first night as Mrs. Liu? <laughs> to be honest, guys, you barely had sleep, not because we were doing something, but our after party ended mga 4 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. So we had to, of course, wait for everyone to really go to their villas. So basically, we just slept after that. We were so tired. Not tired na, di naman siya pangit na pagod. As in, we really had so much fun that we were so tired. And we slept. And then, yeah. So we just slept. Are you willing to rent out your wedding gown? Naisip ko na yun na parang, what will I do with my wedding gown after? Would I just keep it? in a box and just alam mo yun, just for memories and just being clingy with my gown or should I do something with it? And since I got this question if I'm willing to rent it out, I'm actually thinking about it if I should have it rented out or actually auction my gown and all the proceeds will go to a chosen charity or a cause. So I'm thinking about that for now. It's not yet final. But those are my thoughts for now. So if you do have any thoughts regarding this matter, comment in the comment section. Next question is, actually, sobrang daming daming nagtanong nito. How much did your whole wedding cost? So regarding the cost of me and Brian's wedding, actually, you have to think about a lot of things. It's not just as easy as how much is the place, how much is the food, how much is videographer, photographer, um, what else? clothes and all of these things, hindi lang siya ganun, especially for an out-of-town wedding. And the island is a bit private, and then we have to personally do everything. So basically, you have to consider the cost of each of those. And a rental, a rental is basically per day, three days, then the rent times three days. And also, you have to consider out-of-town fees if your wedding is out-of-town. And another thing that you have to consider is Peak season. So peak season, what I mean with peak season is there are peak seasons for weddings and there are peak seasons for flowers. Maraming peak season. And actually February is peak, like super peak season of wedding and flowers. So you also have to consider the peak season of flowers since, of course, alam nyo naman yan, pag bumibili kayo ng flowers, pag Valentine's or Mother's Day, or nagmamahal yung flowers. With regards to the full cost of our wedding, me and Brian aren't that comfortable with sharing the amount, but I'd love to share with you tips on how you can actually budget your wedding. Another question is, what was your biggest frustration? Biggest frustration was actually one, is logistics. It was really, really hard as in, I feeling ko dun lang kami nagkakagulo ni Brian so logistics. And second is actually having no control over the weather. That's one of Brian's frustration actually. He's very um, anxious about it. Na baka umulan, baka ganito, baka bumagyo. Which I think it's actually acceptable to actually worry about it. But for me, kasi if it's gonna happen, then it's gonna happen. But it's acceptable to worry about it. So that's it guys for the wedding Q&A vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't seen the first one, link will be on the description box or the card will be up here. Thank you so much. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Comment on the comment section and I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye!